Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? Before we start, let's listen to. I want actually. I feel like I should play the Switch album first before I listen to it. Or sorry, not the album. The title track. Before that, I completely forgot to. Play some of the events, so I need to do that first. And it's not very. Ensemble Stars. There it goes. Hopefully, it won't mess up like last time. But anyhow, hi. How's everyone doing? Hi Cosmo, hi Kaki, hi Afri. Uh, hi Ben. Oh, is that you, Lari? Did you just change your name? Hi Nessie, how y'all doing? <sighs> My hand. Sorry for the random late notice. Or actually, just random stream. More of a, like a last minute decision. Can you do this real quick? Uh oh, so we started to mess up. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Hello? Okay. Sometimes when I hold on to the box, it doesn't like actually register or something. Tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow is finally a Kante day. So many people have been waiting for it for so long. I have like hardly any room on this board. Mm, I'll keep it, I guess. God, I hate these crystal gem, whatever these things are called, things. You have to make the boxes in order to get more material to make more stuff from a different category. The chessboard is full, the chessboard is full, I know game. Oh I pressed oh, I pressed the wrong one. That just for now. It's gonna take up. It's gonna. I don't want to. Uh, 
I want to finish the task once reset starts. Hey Claude, hi Barry, how are you doing? Hi sir, P, how are you doing? Uh oh, been lagging. Oh, that got rid of a good chunk of stuff. That's good. Ugh, I didn't want to press that. Whatever, I'll just do this one first. Back to the crystals. I've been very lazy and these level sevens. I've been pretty much just using <laughs> I've been just upgrading them to automatically to ten and just buy three tickets. Cause I'm just too lazy to keep playing this game. Or keep doing this. It's like a little small amount of diamonds for me to not lo to not lose my sanity, so I think it's worth it. <laughs> because the human car is so strong, like it's insanely strong. Oh god, I have an extra diamond. Wait, it's these four. Oh, nice. Okay. I can just do this. There we go. Less room taken up. Now these clocks. These things take up a lot of space. Need three? Uh, actually, I need to make this anyways. Okay, perfect. I'm pretty much ready for a reset now. Uh oh. This this mode also makes my game uh crash sometimes. It's really weird. Okay, that's good enough. Oh god, okay. It's lagging again like last time. It's really bad. <laughs> right before we finish right, right, right before we did the switch stuff. I need to do it at some point. Wait, I thought Waking Game Up was 30 plus. Did they change it? Because I thought the two 30 plus songs were Breakthrough and Awakening Myth. Dude, it's doing a thing again. Why is the program being so bad? Oh, I need to go on to the shorts. I need to pick the pack. Oh, Starry, how are you doing? Sorry, I just forgot to put the Twitch chat right here. Okay. Just, just turn everything off and see if that works. Should be for Fina keys. Fina has a lot of um, limiteds though. Like AG has one. Well, not us, but all other servers have AG. Uh, Watu is gonna have his limited. Actually, I guess it's only half of them. Never mind. I was thinking about Knights. Knights. Well, Knights is gonna. No. Knights has a lot of limiteds. Oh, it's the specials. Well, oh, it's the events, that's why. Uh, 
Dinle. There it is. Uh, trying to go who the perfect combos uh, supports are. Shinobu. Dude, it's doing it again. Why is this so. What's happening? It all like, started like a few. Like since last stream. At least it doesn't really happen during the actual songs, though, which is I found really weird. This is so annoying. Let me raise this to real quick. I guess I'll do the sound effects too. Bing. But it's not just the computer, it's, it's not just the program, it's my phone too. Like, it's a little slow too on the phone. Okay, I guess it didn't change this for me. I haven't seen his SPP yet, so... I need to find Himaru. Or Hilo. Or someone. No, not that Himaru. Where's, where's FS Himaru? He should be 65. I haven't. I actually haven't used uh, Nazna. I mean, Nazna. Yeah, Nazna's uh, scout. So I want to see what it looks like. Hi, let's see. How are you doing? Oh god, it's already messing up on here. Play mo! Maybe have to slide! Oh god, I already messed up. I hate that part so much. I got used to it when we were, when the event was going on, but then I forgot how to do it. I would be in that game. Sorry, I was trying to adjust my volume. Show your cutting edge, show me your own diamond, show your reflection, really at the smart.
किसी में यहानी Yeah. I didn't get to see the SCP because I was looking at the screen on my phone. Yeah, this is, I don't know why it's messing up so much. It's pissing me off. ひかりを抱きしめるへいストンカワケニクヨ新しいにスタートするてスメトバンスリーここなわけだ戸籍の殻わぁ、ストップ、ストップ私の殻にてはい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、
God, it's lagging. I don't even know how the song goes. I don't know what the what the rhythm is. This lag is gonna be annoying. Me. I need to fix this or something, but it's kind of the new event start. Well, it's not it's not the game. It's just my program. My game is fine. Like it it's not lagging on my phone. It's lagging on my screen for some reason. It hasn't done that in a long time, but <laughs> Imagine lagging 2D. It will. If I do 2D, it probably will still will still lag. Okay. Uh... Wait, so I'm confused. Is the next event a tour event? Yeah, it's a tour event, right? It's a tour event, but they didn't announce how many days it is, I don't think. And okay, I thought about uh, browser was frozen. I like their outfits. I will say this now. I have one sort of uh, comment on the song. I'll say it after the song is over though.
I like the song. I just think it's very repetitive. Like it's the same thing over and over and over again. Well, I think it's I think it's mostly due to the editing or like the cuts for the game version, because I feel like the whole song itself is gonna be way more. There's gonna be more changes in it. But I like the song. And I always like how Switch, they're always like everywhere on the stage. Uh... Oh my god, this song is five minutes? They cut a lot. What is that feeling for their outfit? Oh, like Starry Night type of outfit? I like on the bottom right, their album. It's like a very 90s like logo. I feel like their whole background is very 90s. I think it's just the editing of the music video because like here there's like actual like progression and the end it was like the same chorus like three times in a row and like it just goes up like I wouldn't say up it's like the, the tempo goes up a bit every rendition every, every time it, uh, every time it does the stanza again see look right here it actually changes it up I like this Five See, why can't you just go back to the stanza like this? It'd be more refreshing than going to the same chorus line like three times. Chanting magical quality in almost every aspect. Something else. From the thing, but I can't read it. See, they did it twice there, but that one makes sense. Oh look, and now there's a freaking guitar break. I mean, they couldn't- I doubt they could fit this into the song, but still.
One movie plays on that. Cause seven, seven is like a big number, isn't it? Seven's like a really lucky number, or like a very significant number compared to one week. Also, if you heard seven day. Uh, prismatic versus one week prismatic. Which one sounds better? Seven days. Full version sounds way better. There's way more switch ups, and it makes it makes the flow way way better to listen to. Uh, was there another song that was added that? Actually, probably this. No, oh, whatever. This is to not <laughs> Sorry, I can't take that mechanical auto tune noise seriously. Wakey wakey. <laughs> Five minutes long. Why is it so so long? I 
Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. What a kind echo you passed? That's an interesting lane. The beat drop was really good. I like that. That's like no beat drop. Or like, yeah, like, yeah. Okay. I was wondering what these cards were, and I was like, oh, they're from the, uh, the old Fine, ex Fine, by the centuries, that's why. I haven't really heard anyone singing with a ballad song yet. Or a solo. Or I can't remember. I think it's still too poppy to be called a ballad. This one's way short in uh, lots of ways though.
Who's Sora playing this? Is this FS2? <laughs> this is definitely my favorite of the album. For so long, that is. I really like the power. This is 4 minutes and 30 seconds. That song. Yeah, this is my favorite song. This movie is it's just very slow paced, so it's like I'm a very like I like fast songs. That was I mean not saying Sora's was a fast song, but it was What the why can't I Okay, whatever. That was weird. Wasn't there like a song? What? So they have the eccentric party night on there. Was it like another song that should we should be really listening? Oh, I never listened to Adam's thing. <laughs> Sounds 
the power truck. Oh, Seki Firefly, I heard about this song. Wow, this that was a lot of song. What the heck is nine? That's a long
Honestly, it still reminds me of like a, like a Conan opener. Or maybe like to like a detective or like a mystery anime opener. like a romantic romantic anime like rom-com at opening actually no it sounds like a magical girl opening <laughs> Rock, rock type song with lots of good instrumentals. Nice one came out too, I guess too. I I, I like you. Yeah. I like their title the trip song. I was expecting it's sort of jazzy. I like this.
Oh, I was like, what's Will Be Nice? That's the song from the anime. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. I forgot they have so many songs. I'm surprised they didn't show the actual music video for this from the anime. <laughs> I think I made it I haven't had My favorite part of this one is the smile that Leo shows in the music video right here. This, this part. This song sounds like an ending to an anime. I swear I didn't expect this to happen with Izumi Solo to be honest. This is such a poppy song. Ooh. 
Why is why is Ashi's song so, so much more diluted compared to everyone else's? This one sounds loud, but then when you go to Ashi's, Ashi sounds a little like softer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that how uh, she says like yes at that time in the background. <laughs> I feel like it, it just, they're, it just automatically became so loud all of a sudden. This is my issue with the Undead title track, is that it's also very, like, soft for some reason. I don't know why. The vocals in that song are so, I like the song, but the vocals for some reason just feel too, um, quiet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I like the song. I'm tempted to get their Nights album when I go. I think Nights was May 22nd. I think that's what I got mixed up with. Where's the date when it comes out? It doesn't say. Yeah, the Nights was May 22nd. I got that mixed up. See, let me look and see if I could find the... Uh, under here. Dude, the voices sound so much better in this than it does in the actual CD. It actually sounds way more... You can hear it. Or, I don't know, it might just be me. Cause I swear when I heard from a CD, it sounds way more toned down than this. And I have it like blasting in my car. I will say at the beginning I was like a little iffy about the song, but I love the song now. Okay, sorry. I, just, I had to I had to hear that song again. I love that song too much. I don't know. Like, I can't. I can't show it to you. But I can't like blast it. I swear, this song sounds way softer in my car. No, and I have no other issues with any other song except this song. I still think my favorite song, trip song, is definitely Akatsuki's. Okay. 
つこしつつくえがどうから変化いつも季節に飛びを任せてまだ見る明日に思い出せるのだろう Ugh, there's so many, there's so many good trip songs though. <laughs> Ugh, so many good songs. Oh, I wanted to listen to. Should be, yeah. Well, I, I didn't know what this was at first, but then I realized it was like main story like stuff. I'm surprised it's not on the top here. I thought it would be. Is it this one? Oh, it's this one. I do hope for the sake of our dreams. Answer. <laughs> My way, just <laughs> outside of a flashlight. We're about to start the next chapter of On the Stars soon. Don't get you crying. I wonder where it's gonna go after this. That's what I want to know. Because we're starting our anniversary. This anniversary is going to start at the end of this. And then May is when we're going to start, I guess, whatever, whatever new thing we're going to start. The arc fin uh, final. Yeah, it's going to be like, yeah, it's like how we did SS arc. Uh, I think it's going to be similar to that. There's not going to be two songs, though. There's going to only be one song. But it might, it might do like two roads like it did last time. You're also going to do like a reading campaign if you read the main story and stuff. You get like 200 extra diamonds or something. There's a lot of stuff going on for it. They'll probably announce a lot of it tomorrow. Or yeah, they'll live stream tomorrow. I don't know why I went to YouTube. Now that I heard all the trip songs, I wonder if... I can pretty much make like a list of like my favorite trip songs to my least favorite. <laughs> I feel like that would make a lot of people mad, unfortunately, because people don't like people, other people's opinions. <laughs> Hero is so fluffy here. He is. It's so rare because he don't barely shows any emotional, like actual emotion. But like a really rare moment where he's like actually genuinely showing like some kind of like human emotion. Listen to all that. Yeah, I think it's at like 8 p.m. I'm oh, sorry, 8 a.m. for me. I, I don't know why they don't like schedule the stream already. They, when they do that, they do it like at least a few hours before it actually starts. How dare you have an opinion? <laughs> Yeah, see, they haven't, even, they haven't even scheduled it yet. If they did, I'll have a better 
I would have a better time frame of what it actually is and not second guess myself all the time. Wow, this is still an 8th anniversary banner. It's about to change though, so. Six months ago, 11 months ago. So this, wait. Oh, they got rid of it, that's why, okay. So they get rid of the live stream sometimes, which I find really odd. Okay, now let's go back to EN. I would play on my phone more, but my phone is being really, well, not my phone, the program is being really weird, so I'm gonna go on the PC version. I'm gonna play this. Yo, yo, cutting it, show me your eye. Daimon! Yo, cutting it, show me your eye. Daimon! Yo, Olympic show, reading up the spot. He thinks it's like brilliant smile, really radiant smile. Why is it updating? I literally turned it on like a few days ago. Oh my god, why is it taking forever to, to turn this on? Okay. Dun dun dun. I heard sound a lot actually. Coming up here right there too. Dun 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 It's not like making the truth. You are the best thing. Magic. Let's get it now. 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 Oh, I did not mean that one, my bad. Okay, I guess I did, never mind. That's not it. Uh... Uh... Okay, okay, let's see. What the?
arrow. Hello, why can't I change this? Do this way then. Oh, being annoyingly difficult. I can't imagine you playing this mode with a computer. Like, you're you will actually get carpal tunnel syndrome. You will your your wrist will be destroyed by the end of this event. If you do play on the PC, I, I, my condolences to your wrist. Oh yeah, now that my actual thing is not glitching out, I want to look at what Sumugi's uh, SVP looks like. Come on, give me, give me a song that's near. No, that's not near enough. That's not near enough. Why are you only- why are you doing non-event songs? Oh my god. Oh no, that was- oh, That was- ugh, I messed up. No. No. No, it's not the right New Year's. You went to Comet Halation twice before I got even near. And you went to the next song right so Okay, thanks, game. Whatever. Welcome to the game, it wasn't very nice on PC before they fixed it. Okay, now we can put Sora back in. Why? What did they change Awakening Myths difficulty from, uh... What the? Why is this appearing here now? What the, whatever. Um... To 30. It was 30 plus before. It was not 30. It was still... It's only 30 plus song besides... Um, uh, breakthrough. Oh, is it close to s Oh, I can't change it anyways. I hate this sound effect for the notes. It was always 30? Oh wait, I was thinking about Beast of the End, my bad. Hey! Engagement is yours, my yeah. Yo, Hey, 
Ah, that's such a fun song. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I can't remember what song Nazna had the SPP for his gemstone outfit. I think it. It wasn't this song, was it? I don't think it was. Tomoe had one. I think his gem spear was for Melty Kitchen. It's not gonna tell me on here. Oh, my sword. Search. What was it, Milky Star Charm? No, it wasn't that song. It can't be that song, that song just came out. So it has been with the kitchen. No? What's the SPP of this song? Love Rabbit Party? Oh, Final Love is Wonderland. Yeah, I forgot. I wonder why they didn't add the new version of the song with the new uh, VA's uh, lyrics. Are they talking about his gemstone card? Oh no, not that one. だったら崩せ あったんだなんてこすんじゃってがわわらいよあの日は熱さって君さ塞ぎ置いてけけいのアニスおいでですかさ<笑><笑> <This concept really fits this one. 笑> What's the time now? I don't know. Janewatchmi.これから来た。早く早くって言ってるね。一緒にポニーマ。どうにをしていくんだ。And now I want to look at Himoto's outfit. Because I got it last night. 
Mother Wonderland. Oh, yes, your joy food bar. Oh, yeah. Crazy rule. <laughs> Make you go kanata de. たまらすだろう。などにをするあたりひとは。だてるかんじんだ約束とともどなさわるプロス。I'm just gonna let everyone else be in a costume except Himado. God, I gotta say, limited costumes are just really good. They're so intricate. そうでもいいどうだでいつだれだがまあ君に知ってる Oh, actually, if they had microphones, you can see what this microphone looks like. We need her to come back. He should be back soon, right? Alright. Remember he always should be back soon? What, what was the banner for it? Was it this year? No, it was last year, right? I don't remember. It was before Adonis, I'm pretty sure. Uh, sorry, Adonis' event. Uh, which had meant June's spotlight event. I think it was in November, right? Stippling Nazuna Himeru. <laughs> oh, that's actually a good thing, yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people for tend to for forget, like I do, about the microphones that they actually make for them too. Actually, I never see. I didn't. I never got to see Nagisa's microphone either. What's your special? Oh, blue drop. Yeah, it was November. Yeah.
I could have just done a music video version. I don't know why I always forget about that. We can actually see the music video without hearing this these note sounds. Oh wow, look at Himalus. It has like a little thing at the bottom. Oh, oh, I like their microphone, so cool. I want to look at Leo's and um, Nagisa's maps actually. Look at that micro, it's so cool. It's like an actual, like a, a globe, like. It's even moving. I think it was. I swear it was moving. It was moving, right? Whatever, I think it was moving. Oh, we're free of eggs. Yeah, I use all of them. I use, well, I didn't use all of them, but I use, I did the max, or the minimum I need to do. So I'm done with that event. That ends tonight, so if you haven't done that, you should probably do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did temple on um, Tori's banner. I didn't get anything except these two. <laughs> I did not. I didn't even. I didn't get to pass that, so that's great. Uh, and then. Let's see. Nasa definitely moves. Yeah, okay, I thought so. I thought there was a way to see their mouse or not the mouse, sorry, their microphones in like the fitting room. Like a lightsaber. <laughs> I forgot I do music video mode again. Oh my god. Nuggets on Star Wars are real. <laughs> no, Nuggets wasn't even the Star Wars one. It was, uh, Leo's was more Star Wars-y based on the name. <laughs> Why is he the trend in? Oh yeah, I felt really bad for her. Well, actually, not really. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, I feel bad for uh, Himeto P's right now. If you play JP ugh. and this, ugh, I feel bad for you. Because he has a 5 star scout. I get to the scout and not at, like an event. But you still have to, if you want him, you have to spend money. <laughs> Boom, boom. 
they really just want that the how uh Hima the piece of suffer. Oh my god, I can't speak. Suffer. So over Hima the piece. Attack <laughs> all all sides. Wait, how long is the white headdress story? These stories are really long. Like, uh, the last one was also like 13 too. Uh, the mother one. I need to read that still too. I need to read this too. So many to read. Kimba to Irene. That's a very interesting pair. As white bread. I don't know. I feel like white headdress sounds so basic. I don't know why they decided to use this instead. Wasn't this Nazuna, Mitsu, and Hajime? I need to read this too. Wait, what is Soma in the university? What the? This is a random group of people. I can't look at Tori. <laughs> okay, I want to read this story. We'll read this one, we'll read White Headdress, and then FS. I, I want to read... Uh, maybe Switches. We'll see how long it is. I swear this... The, the events uh, stories have been sorry. The event scout stories have been longer than the event stories in general. Oh my! I found dead and rabbit. Oh no! One day in the Seiso Clan apartments. I finally finished the book. Sir, need to recommend it to me. It was an interesting and useful useful read. Reading is always beneficial. When I return this one, I'll see if I if there's a new arrival that interests me. Oh, good morning, she. Points to desk. Ah, I see Sir Nito doesn't want to be interrupted when he's studying. I'll make sure he, I don't make any noise like everyone else then. Says things with a smile. <laughs> oh. Yay, I'm here! Morning, Hajime Soma! <laughs> I dash all the way here, Nicha. I'm not late, right? <laughs> well, it's me who summoned you. And calm down. We're in no hurry. You had any breakfast? Had you had your breakfast? I brought you some bread before, so you can take one. <laughs> Whoa! It's a melon bread that it's got in the blink of an eye. Thanks so much, Nichan. Munch munch. <laughs> oh, Summachin. Is that the book I recommend to you? How did you find it? <laughs> I read through it and thought I had found it very inform informative. Thank you, Sir Nito. Please recommend me more books like this one. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, I'm sorry, I have to do the another day because I need to ask Mitsuchin something for now. What well, is it, Nichan? Well, where should I start? Oh, uh, right. Can I ask you about the time you lost your memory? Actually, I'd like to know how it feels when you lose a part of your own memory. Oh. Relax, Mitsuchin. Just has just has some chit chats with me. Yeah. But you're taking out a notebook, and that makes me nervous. But I'll do my best for you, Nichan. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> uh, that's totally fine. It's quite a while ago, anyway. Uh. No, I mean I don't really feel anything when I lost my memory. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known it if you guys didn't tell me. Indeed, I remember you mis nearly mistook you for a girl. Then I would rather you not do that again. <laughs> don't worry, I promised Toma I wouldn't. <laughs> Good. Let Nichan praise you with a good pat on the head. I'm, I'm glad you've grown so much. Besides, I like TVs with rabbits. I see how well received you are in TV dramas. So I'm curious what you usually think about when you're acting out the role of a handsome guy. Does the director give you instructions or anything? Mm, let's see. A few days later. There you are, my senior. I still can't believe I made it to my dream university. And that's the first time I called you that way. It feels pretty good. 
<laughs> I'm glad your dream came true during this time of academic advancement. I also applied to I also plan to apply to the PhD program here, so we can each so we can see each other pretty often for a while. Mm. Your acting was impeccable, Sir Nito. I was merely reciting my lines. You need to put more I need to put more effort into my acting. Ma. Uh you made great progress. I heard you were very nervous when you were shooting for a drama Summer Bird, which we don't have in our server yet. And that's why you wanted me to rehearse with you today, right? But you don't need to worry that much. Well, we have special training sessions designed by the agency for this collaborative TV drama between Random Link, UDI, and Cospro. And Cospro? Why are there three companies? Okay. Oh, because of Hima, dude. Duh. Never mind. And since we're idols, not acting pros, they made sure to give us roles that are similar to our own characters. And I think you just showing, genuinely showing that you're happy. <laughs> Perhaps it's also because I can relate. I have decided to postpone my pursuit of higher education. But should the day come, I would very much like to go to the university you are enrolled to, Sir Nito. I'm very glad to be able to play the roles with you. <laughs> Same, and I'm sure Kuchin and Kitochin will be proud of you when this is on air. Speaking of which, it seems that both have been invited for cameo appearances. It feels a bit strange to interact with them as someone other than, other than members of Akatsuki, though. I think so. Everyone will be in for a cameo as long as their schedules permit. The agency sponsored TV drama like this is too good an opportunity to miss. I know we might appear amateur because, because even the leading role are played by idols, but thanks to our distinguished director and scriptwriter, anticipation for our show is quite high. I see. I'm already enjoying the part a lot, even though I don't have the full script yet. So, so. Me too! The protagonist is so well characterized that I love him already. I'm so happy I get to act as him. <laughs> Bro, spoilers on Star. <laughs> Star Pro found dead. <laughs> the classroom using a makeshift green room for the filming of the TV series Yumazaki Academy. Mm. I guess I should make a more forceful expression here. <laughs> You're reading the script over again, Sir Nito. Seeing you work so hard is encouraging. No wonder the director keeps praising your acting. <laughs> uh, it's just because I have, I'm a green hand at acting. In this drama, I'm more like acting as myself. <laughs> My role has also has a similar character to mine, but there are some still some parts I'm sh unsure of. Would you help me see how I should improve, Sir Nito? Oh. Mm, first, I need to think. I think I need to update you on something. You know that we don't have the com complete script, right? The production team wants us to get into our characters better and see the story unfold in the characters' eyes. So we only had the scripts when we were relevant, and we don't know what's going to happen to the others. Right. This drama was has sus this drama has suspense suspense elements. So knowing the truth from the start would certainly affect my acting. So that applies particularly to me, as my character Lewis has amnesia. And the director wants me to act as though I'm consistently worrying about what's coming up next. That's maybe why my script is somehow simpler. However, as the protagonist, Lewis has a detailed backstory of his past, so I always try to imagine myself in the situation as I read that part over and over again. Ma. You know, not like no matter how alike, we're different people with our roles. The fact we are alike makes it more important to distinguish between similarities and differences. <laughs> Is that why you always take out Lewis's ruby amulet first after you arrive at the shooting site every time? Yeah, this amulet feels as solid in my hand as Lewis's un unwavering persistence feels in the face of adversity. As I read his story, I become deeply attached to optimism that makes him smile at all hardships. Agreed. Lewis is incredibly kind to everyone. My character also respects him a lot. <laughs> anyway, I can see why they called us idols for their roles. It's good that Rhythm League veterans are not competing against us this time, or I can imagine how fierce a battle there would be. I heard, that Sir Hasumi, heard from Sir Hasumi that the production team was given great leeway. Maybe that explains how the director chose the actors according to their traits and looks. Also, to accommodate new DI and Close Pro, they decided that agencies should send a newer generation of entertainers to this joint pro project. Right. I know that Katsuki is now pursuing a different route. So you've been keeping a close eye, close watch on them. It must be tough. Yes. It's all right. This time, I will double my efforts to earn Akatsuki more fans and more positive feedback within the agency. Dash, 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 dash. Don't rush at me. You're about to knock me into the air. I know you. Pro I know that you probably won't run into anything here, but 
if you're familiar, Imosaki, Imosaki, and it's during the break, so there are many people that you can break some of the equipment. It might get hurt, you know. So it's your cameo today, Tenma. If I remember correctly, are you playing the role of Louis, Louis, Louis's, Louis's, another junior who is also a popular member of the University Track and Field Club? That's right! I'll dash to the camera when the scene starts! I love it! Yeah. Okay, now that we're all here, shall we rehearse our lines a little bit while the staff prepares? No, no. Do you remember me, Louis? <laughs> My memory is not that bad, you know. Honestly, I didn't re realize I lost some parts of my memory before today. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, saying that my memory is like an album. Now I got several photos missing, and some of the most recent ones were placed in disorder. Uh, right now, I don't even know which photos I lost. This could be a bit troublesome. I treasure even every moment with you. But uh, I treasure every moment I spent with you, and I'd be more than willing to help you reclaim those lost memories. Mm, but. I don't know that you well since we're not in the same class. But, but I don't know you that well since we're not in the same class. It is. Like you totally dis you like you disappear at night quite often and you never told us why. <laughs> oh, that that's because everyone has their secrets, right? Uh don't worry, I'm fine right now. I'm living a pretty regular life. Maybe this is just some after effects of my illness earlier. <sighs> You felt ill because you pushed yourself too hard. You could do with more rest. I just want to realize my dream sooner. You can surely understand how I feel, right? <laughs> then you should come and run with me! A strong body will get you even smarter, you know! Huh? Hey, he just begin he's just beginning to recover. Not everyone's as tough as you. Yeah. It's alright. I say the three of us go hiking somewhere with beautiful scenery. That way we can create new precious memories together. After the shooting. <laughs> what a fruitful day. Who says stuff like that? Shall we go back to Seisokan since there's nothing more to do? Mm -hmm. Okay! Just when I want to tell you more about what this drama is about, Nichan. How do you know about my part? I'm also curious about one thing. Why is the name of the protagonist Louis? It doesn't sound like a typical Japanese name. <laughs> right! It's because the drama is an adaptation of the novel a Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And they're modeled after the name... They're modeled, and they modeled the name after the, the author Louis. Mm. I read the novel myself, and I found that although our story happens in modern Japan, the script is too different from the original to be called an adaptation. Ah, oh. oh, I hear what you're trying to say. You want to say, you want to know about Jekyll and Hyde, right? In this drama, we're taking Louis. Why was it a typo or whatever? Louis's perspective, and our antagonist Jekyll and Hyde is played by Himanuchin, named namely Mr. S. But from my portion of the script. I can only see his good side. I don't know about Mr. S. I don't know what Mr. S did to Louis. I see. Perhaps witnessing his evil side could be why Louis was shocked and got amnesia. Well, good point there. That's very possible. Hey, I can't follow you guys. Okay, let me give you a walkthrough of the original novel first. How's that gonna help me? I feel like he's not gonna have the attention span to, to understand that. <laughs> Alright, in the next scene, Louis encounters a mysterious man who's played by Kagehira on his way to meet with Mr. S. Yeah. Seems that they both are standing, already standing by. Guess I'll go in and say hello. <laughs> hello, head butler. Oh, sorry. That was some really, that was some really moving acting just now, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's all keep it up. Let's all keep up the good work, Himuchin. Uh, by the way, I need to thank you for giving me advice back when you acted as Meaty. Before every scene started, I imagined myself living Louis's life so that I could get into this character quickly. Thanks, it's really helpful. Yeah. It's Himanu's pleasure to help he to help you. Himanu hosts this filming is a smooth one as well. Everyone on the crew has expected has experienced acting, so Himanu is surely is sure everything will pursue or proceed smoothly. Oh. Ah, I heard that Sir Kakehira used to used to play the role of a cool, calm high school detective in a movie before. Uh, that's also thanks to Himanu's advice. It's very challenging for me to play a mysterious and cool role in this TV drama. Well, I'm gonna do my best. Rest assured, as your agency colleague and co-worker this time, Himanu, will gladly lend you a helping hand. <laughs> Sir Kagehida, your role does sound similar to Sir Himanu's. I'm certain you will, be you will benefit greatly from his input. 
Yeah, you know, Louis still calls him Sir Mr. S despite being his patron and friend. That's so secretive. <laughs> Even with those concerns, have to be an expert on being a mystery. Still, it's an idol's basic to keep their mysteries charm, as the proper distance between them and their fans will serve as a magnet for admiration and love. Ah. True, you're all idols, but you sometimes really feel like a, the real deal, deal Himeji. Oh, the next scene is when we first we meet for the first time, right, Kagehira? And it's the crow that sits on the mysterious man's shoulder, right? I think she's, oh, so it was Kagehira in, in the car. I thought it was him. Uh. What the? How pathetic. Do you still think everyone around you is friendly? Or ridiculously ignorant? What are you talking about? What? He just said what he wanted and left. How strange. <sighs> How he was acting was so impactful just now. That he, he made me jump by suddenly saying those lines. <laughs> Must have got into character unconsciously. Where he was working, he worked on a, a lot of roles. That's what happened to so much he and me earlier. Mm. Uh, I feel irritated when I see Burton has not knowing nothing about the truth of the story. Mm. He's doing great in his role. He likes it very much. I should feel happy for him, but. Oh. Sir Scriptwriter, thank you for bringing us these new scripts. <laughs> Great, I can't wait to see what comes next. I can't wait, I can't see where the truth lies from what I know. I believe that Lewis is ready for any kind of difficulty when he makes so many friends at his back. <laughs> you mean, even so, it's still possible he has inevitably into the abyss, abyss of destruction? No, no, no. How so? Aren't we, des aren't we deciding on the finale according to the audience's reception? <laughs> Oh, so you just come up with what some of the probabilities for the last episode. Then, sorry for being abrupt, but do you think Lewis could get a happy ending? As much as I understand, tragedy could have a bigger impact if you destroy all the uh, beautiful things. And as an actor, I'm in no place to say so, but... Now, after spending so much time with Lewis, I'm no longer able to see him as a mere fiction being. He's become my friend, my family, or even another me. I feel devastated if he's doomed in the end. Oops. I feel the same. Not only me in my role, but all the people ar around Louis, Louis wish him a happy and bright future. I know this sounds abrupt, but we hope we will also take such feelings into consideration. You mean you will ask me one more question instead and want me to think of carefully before answering? Because my answer could potentially decide the ending? Tsuka. What would you do if it came to realize that Louis's happiness would mean another person's misfortune? Or more simply put, it's in a human being's nature to pursue happiness. But how much are you willing to pay for it? Hi. Okay, I'll think about it today. Deva. Sorry for taking up your time when we still have meetings with the director. Hmm. Are you alright, Sir Nito? Uh. Uh, yeah, I just... I kind of can't hold back the tears in my eyes now. The script writer probably didn't want me to embarrass myself, so he just left. It's so amateur of me to cry at work. But I'm fine now. Come to think of it, this could well be also part of this whole plot, right? Mm. What do you mean? They might already know what we react like this when they want to act like ourselves. They want to see how I would feel after acting out a character so similar to myself while not knowing what's coming up next. I see. As Sister Hasmi said, it's already unnatural that a famed actor and fam famous scriptwriter would make a series in which nearly all the actors are idols. It could not have been as effective if they'd gone for professional actors who would separate themselves from their roles better. So. Meanwhile, I cried about the potential tragedy Lewis would end up in. I know that he is no more than some strings of text, but. Mikachi. Mika. Kagehira? You want the script? Wants he the script writer? He just left. Yeah. Uh, I'm just passing by. Oh. And now I realize he may already know the whole story. That's why he looks at me. That's why it looked like he had something to say when we were filming. He still holds back a lot, huh? He could have said it. <laughs> this one that has like a lot of people in it. Hey, Chan, I've been waiting for you. This producer, Ado and Kiryu came to see us with a lot of refreshments. This candy is super tasty. Well, have a bite, Nichan. Uh, thanks, Mitsuhichi. I'll have it later. Huh? Why do you guys look so 
Look a bit down. Are you too tired after filming the whole day? You guys gotta eat more in that case. It'll actually make you feel better. Yes. Here, have some grills. Have some grills? What? Grilled meat is rich in nutrition that helps you light up. Thank you, but I can eat by myself, Sir Adonis. <laughs> so much cheese up busted when you suddenly push so much food on his arms, Adochin. Huh? Why are you so close, Pooster? You wanna feed me? Thank you. You mean you can now disclose new information because Cooper should have already told me about the ending? Well, the show is actually featuring a double protagonist, and that's the part of the reason they kept the whole picture from us. That explains why we were shooting everything during the day. It's because the sun of the sun and the sun of the moon are being filled at the same time. Uh, but I think I have some clue about that. Eh? Excuse me? May I ask why? I didn't find anything suspicious even as I wa watched you work from behind when I finished your scenes. My <laughs> scenes. Well, one of the stats mixed up the props from the two studios, and that's when I started to suspect there was another filming sa site. The props had to keep this a secret so no one knew about it. Uh. In that case, when scriptwriter said Lewis's happiness would mean another's misfortune, he could be referring to the pro protagonist of the Son of the Moon. Uh, I can tell from what I had in my hand that Mr. S is the son of the sun to be Jekyll, so Hyde should be on the other side. The title suggests they want to compare and contrast by making a happy and tragic ending from each side. Uh, but that's only my guess. Now I feel the same way as Lewis must do. I'm so unsure of what's waiting for me. I can't trust Mr. S, though I respect him very much. I feel as there's an abyss right in front of me. I could, I could fall in at any time. Don't forget, we are here if you, Sir Nito. Tenma and I will do whatever we can to make it a happy ending for everyone. Yeah, I don't know what we're talking about, but you bet I'll save you. I'll forever save your side, Nichan. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget our cameos. Who knows, maybe I'll casually appear next to the Lewis guy and give him a hand tomorrow. Kuro You're so reassuring, Kurochin. Feels like a loving mom. <sighs> I can confirm that Sir Kiryu is exactly the kind of person. He is a role model I look up to. I don't even address you didn't even address that mom nonsense. I want to base it you guys who turn 20 in no day. We don't need another mom figure, we're having Mikajima. <laughs> <laughs> These fans are finally putting me back to reality from the script. I don't know what kind of ending Lewis will meet, but thanks to all of you, I've got happiness for, for firmly grasp in my hand in the real world. That's what matters right now. Huh? If you're at my back, I have no fear. I'll give it my all to get Lewis a happy ending as well. <laughs> That's the spirit. Just dash out as you want, as you want. Wait. Just, just dash as you want, Nichan. You can make it. Right. Let's all dash back to Santa Club. Now we've all finished shooting. Wait. You mean now? In fact, I just ran here, Kiryu. As we thought the distance looked fit for good exercise. That's so cool, Ado. Ado. I don't even call him Ado Chin. Ado. I'll join you next time. Well, it's actually because I can't stand transportation in all forms. But thanks for tagging along with the guy. My pleasure. I don't mind getting a good sweat in this heat. The scenery along the road is was beautiful. I need to catch up with your good work. Let's run back to Seisokan together. Then I'll swing my sword a thousand times to clear off all distractions. Yeah. Hey, don't any of you ever remember producers also here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean they don't need to go to Seisokan anyway? To catch a bus back to ES? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sometimes I forget about that. <sighs> I didn't manage to switch the topic. Aochi and Mitsuchi are members of the track and field club, while Kuchin's joined the martial arts Shin and the karate club. Not to mention that Soma Jin's exercise on a daily basis. Can I really keep up with their pace? <laughs> Come on, Ichan! We're leaving you behind this way! <laughs> oh, oh, wait for me! Or now is enough forced to exercise, forced to run. Oh. I finally watched the security camera footage that day. Seems like he checked on me briefly after I fainted by the row of Misha for the first time. I thought we were friends. Turned out you were the one behind it all. Did you realize then? That it could be you're imagining things all along? <sighs> you wish. I have enough clues now for me to trace the truth. I saw you left in a hurry so that no one would have caught you there. 
Though I can't see his face clearly in the footage, I'm sure that a well-dressed, slender, slenderly built person carried me away. If I can find them, I believe I have most of the answers to all these mysteries and all my lost memories. <laughs> why, are you so, why are you so sure that man was also part of my plan? You wouldn't know how much effort I put into this. You were no more than a tiny piece of my research. When you come to regret your ignorance and appreciate my research, I'll welcome you, my old friend, with open arms regardless of what happened today. Hmm. Sorry, but I guess I'll disappoint you anyway. So. It's good to wrap it up here. The crew is ready for, a shooting, for the shooting. This scene is particularly important, so it's where Louis and Mr. S officially part ways. You need to be in good shape. Top tier, top tier acting is always needs to be Chin. I, oh my god. <laughs> Top tier acting is always keeping me Chin. I got into character the moment I saw the look in your eyes. Thank you so much for rehearsing for me with me so many times. Yeah. No, it's quite the opposite. It's you who helped Himuru become Mr. S. Nito. Himuru can see resolve in your eyes. I'm just convince Himuru that you already decided on how the story should end. Mm. Yeah, I know I know my feelings alone can't change anything. I made up my mind. You don't know what the future holds. Let alone that the course of our lives is consistently changing. Still, just like how the pres present is the result of all preceding choices, I'd like to think that the efforts we make today will lead to better results tomorrow. Lewis has never given up chasing his own happiness no matter what. We always stay kind and innocent. It's also how I want to portray him. I won't sacrifice anybody else's happiness, but normalize surrender to a doomed fate. I'll try to work with the other people, person, and earn a future for everyone. Have you by any means discovered the true identity of the leading role of the Son of the Moon? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. I'd better be off not knowing it anyway. Oh, yeah? Himuru thought the that knowing the truth will help you weigh your options and choose the right answer for the present situation. Hora. Well, I can't promise that it won't be biased if I knew who the person was. Like if I see it's Tenshoin who meets his doom in, the dr in this drama, I may just find it funny and let it be. <laughs> So I'm gonna with not knowing. That way I can strive for our mutual happy ending without a problem. And I won't later regret not having done my best out of personal feelings. Huh? So much in all participating Rhythm League Isles agreed that we should present we should we will present to our audience the best son of the sun possible. And I know it's also a typo there. And I hope the crew can relay our thoughts to our protagonist. I'm sure it's also the living charm of the sun of the moon. The viewers begun attached to both sides of the story and protagonist, they won't want to, to end up in a tragedy, right? So we may have a happy ending after all. Demo. The chances are slim for now, but I'll do everything to make it happen. I wish the production team could understand and conclude the story perfectly. <laughs> what a long lasting round of applause. It seems that your speech touched many hearts in here, Nito. <laughs> <laughs> I just spoke with what's on my mind. This reaction's got me feeling all embarrassed. Otto. Wait, so much heat! Producer? I mean, Miss Producer, when did you get here? Oh. You've been here for a while already. We just didn't want to interrupt your work. Lady Producer wanted to apologize to you for keeping you uninformed, even if she did it for the sake of the production. <laughs> uh, you don't have to do it. You don't have to. You're just doing your job, and it's not good for your. It's, and if not for your good work, I had never met Louis. Right. You mean you compensate with the best ending result possible? It's hard for me to refuse. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? We we'll work on this together. There's nothing. There's no way to let your. There's no way to let your shoulder. Wait. There's no way to let you shoulder all the burden. <laughs> Let's make an ending where you, Mitsuchin, Somachin, Himachin, Mikachin, where everyone's smiling happily. After the show aired in the Seisukan apartment. Another typo. Hi! Look, it's trending already! I need to tell Nichan about this! Yes. Sir Nito's efforts have finally paid off. I must tell him about the good news. Oh no, excuse me! Wait! <laughs> I heard this loud bang outside the door, but I didn't expect it was you guys. I thought it was probably Leo. Leo Chin making a mess as always, or maybe it was Natsume Chin doing his experiments again. Hora. I know you're hyped about. I know you're hyped not because the drama went viral, but you could do it with a milder approach than rushing at me and clad the corridor. <laughs> I just can't wait to sell you if you need Chan, but are you going somewhere? Ma. I see neither of you checked the message on hold hands. Producer has already prepared a feast for all the idols that star in both the stories. <laughs> I expected the lady producer. She's always thinking ahead of everyone else. Then let's not waste her time and kindness to get going. I want to share this happiness with her too. <laughs> I feel like that story was so long for no reason.
Okay, before I read this, I'm gonna, I, someone called me. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh god, this is what? Hiyori, Eiichi, Tsukasa, and Tori? It's gonna be a fun story to act out. Oh, well, I did not mean to go to episode 3 all of a sudden. <laughs> I think these are some fun voices for me to voice act, so I'm gonna have fun with this. End of February, a quiet resort in Japan, the Tenshoin's Vacation Home. Tenshoin's Vacation Home? Why is... why is Hiyori here? Oi! Who's there? Why are you just standing... oh, sorry. Who's there? Why are you standing in the corner? <laughs> Student, if you don't know what to do in high society, I can lead you by the hand through the whole thing. <laughs> I'll for the way you're always helping me. Hmm? Big sis producer, you don't look like you're feeling well. Have you eaten anything? Are you hungry? <laughs> it's no good. I will personally bring you lots of sweets. You should feel special. I don't normally play the server. Huh? Uh huh? <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Tsukasa, I didn't know you were here. You're acting so base. I thought you were some commoner who accidentally wandered in here. <laughs> Tori and Tsukasa are so funny together. Oh yeah? My my. Is that you, Tori? I apologize. You're so short. All I could see was the top of your head, so I didn't recognize you. <laughs> You're looking more than a popper without your silver spoon. Well, at least I'm not a pint-sized prince skilled in gold. Boys, boys, enough bad vibes. We're supposed to have a fun day. Bad Hiyori. Huh? Okay. Wait. Master Hiyori, I was expecting to see you here. You know we don't come to these things. <laughs> Well, I have to play the role of the carefree younger son every once in a while and come to parties like this. Oh god, it's like Tori is a godson and he only an age. It's gonna be such a. It's just gonna be such. Like. Everyone is making fun of each other. This year, though, my brother said he's busy with work and he doesn't know if he can make it. Ah. Besides, this year's party is to celebrate the Tenshuin's great venture in founding ES and the wild success of his biggest event, SS. As leader of the Team White during SS, I kind of had to be here. I'm sure society views me as one of its leading men. Mm -hmm. And the same goes for you too. I bet everyone's itching to ask us about ES and SS. ES is so big, even the financial world is interested in it after all. Mm. SS. Uh, mm -hmm. I understand Tori having a long face since his health give, gave him some trouble during SS. But why do you have the same expression, Sukasa, the Suos? You knights were in a pretty prime position during the main competition, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Uh, apologies, Master Hiyori. It's true that knights were able to perform quite spectacularly during the finals. And we were in perfect sync performing with Trickstar as we pra practiced a lot together. I am, a proud, I am proud of knights and the performance we gave. However, there are certain shameful memories such as losing to Crazy B in the qualifying rounds. I can't exactly say everything went swimmingly during SS. <laughs> mm -hmm. That this SS, none of the participating units can say things went well for them from beginning to end. Ma. And it was our no exception. We went all at, we went all out at the end, but until the middle of the fin finals, our team white was on the losing streak. I feel like our reputation as internal champions was tarnished. Like people were going to th think we talk big, but we're not actually that great. Eh? I don't think that's true. Right? From where I stood, and it was shining so brightly the whole time. It was like you were all on some pedestal we could never climb. Mm. Indeed. But to be honest, I was so focused on my unit during SS. 
other units and even the public's reaction didn't enter my mind at all. But then, we've gotten so much work afterwards, and I don't have time to reorganize my thoughts. I've been yanked back to reality and hit the ground sprinting. SS feels like it's been just... SS feels like it'll just become a foggy dream. I feel... I feel that... I feel like I've been dreaming this whole time. <laughs> but I think it's better to get back to reality ASAP, as it's just bright, bright and shiny dreams. A single moment outside of reality. If you stay stuck in it, it'll mess with your day-to-day -day life. Mm. That's another reason why we're at this party. To switch our minds back to normal routine and recover from the exhaustion with yummy food and fun times. We need our energy back we need our energy to go back to work as idols tomorrow. And you need your energy to go back to producing, right, producer? I assume that's why you're here, even though you're not from some, pre some prestigious family. Uh. Indeed. <laughs> I always knew my thoughts. You always understand my thoughts better than anyone else, Hiyomi. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eiichi, you're here. I haven't seen you at all, so I figured you'd, you're off and died somewhere. Mm. You say that every time I see you. Do you really want me to die that much? <laughs> huh? There's that ego again. I really couldn't care whether you're alive or dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? What's up, producer? Why are you laughing? Huh? Master Eiichi and Master Hiyo treat each other the same way Sukas and I do? What's that mean? Well, whatever it means, I'm just glad you laughed. You seem so down the whole time that I'm worried about you. Huh? You should you should be telling me that. But you should be telling me that? <sighs> yeah, I wish I could laugh and be carefree like always, but... It's still kind of hard for now. I'm <laughs> gone. The banter between these two. Or these four is gonna be such... <laughs> Sorry, Master Huey literally just got mad at me for being all so gloomy. I hear I bring things down again. Today's supposed to be a party. I should have more fun and be more positive. So, so. Exactly. You don't have to force yourself to be cheerful if you're not, though, okay? If you cut away at the heart and burn as fuel, you can make yourself sparkle, but you will lose yourself someday. <laughs> you would know. You've been doing that for so long. I doubt there's much heart left in that chest of yours. Oh my god. <laughs> What's happening? Mm. Better than an empty heart that's one full of garbage like yours. <sighs> Oh, how cute. You get mad whenever I'm harsh to Eiichi, don't you, Tori? Huh? Uh-oh. Uh, um, sorry. Mm -hmm. You don't have to apologize. It's good that you have precious things you don't want to drag in the dirt. Mm -hmm. You're such a good kid. Eiichi really is garbage for hurting a little angel like you without a second thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it fun for you to use t Tori to criticize me? Ma. Well, I suppose it's alright. As I said, tonight's a party, so I'll forgive your rudeness. Go ahead and take this opportunity to spew all of your, out uh, all the resentment that's curled inside you. So I thought that was the whole point behind this party in the first place. Eh. Indeed, you may not know this, big sister, but this party is an annual event. Until this year, it's always been held a little earlier at the end of the year. Mm. It what? Oh, I I didn't know who was talking to. Wait, I was confused as to who he was talking to about big sister. He was talking to the producer. <laughs> Correct. It's a gathering of those of us in the area with influence. They can all support each other. <laughs> a New Year's party, basically. <laughs> Trust you to be familiar with the aspect of commoner culture. Oh, prodigal, uh, prod prodigal son of the Tomura family. You have to take every possible opportunity to be insufferable. Uh, but this year, the ten showings, well, Master Ichi was busy with SS, so. Ah. Eiichi wasn't the only one busy. You, Tsukasa, and I were at the peak of business too. During the SS qualifiers, all you except for the seeds couldn't leave town to go home for the holidays. That's why our normal end of the year party got bumped back like this. Mm. Exactly. It's a party at an odd time near the end of the calendar year, nor the fiscal one. But the purpose stays the same. To, to try your best to relax and have a good time. It's an opportunity to clear out all the dust and depression accumulated over, over the past year so you can face the future clean and refreshed. To that end, we should still have a fun session, a secret game we play each year towards the end of the night. Mm -hmm. Oh, right! That secret thing all the adults fuss about every year. I, want, I always wonder what they're doing, but every time I ask, they just say I found out when I'm older, so I don't know any details. Hey. Yeah, I remember we couldn't supp suppress our curiosity one year when we were little, and we want to spy on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right! We, we got found out right away though, so he's got thrown out. You say that if it's not your fault. 
I tried to stop you, but you just dragged me along to spy. Mm. What? If I had done anything, you would have got, just gone on your own. I was worried, so I went along out of the goodness of my heart. Mm. What a convenient rewrite of events. <sighs> Hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Healy and I see, share a similar experience. <sighs> Unfortunately, uh. history is bound to repeat itself. Well, I'm, not, I'm sorry the adult game got hyped out so much for you, as it really isn't that big a deal. It's more like a child's game, tag or hide and go seek. Incidentally, the game is called clan digging. Mm -hmm. Clan digging? What, did we go out to the beach in the middle of the night and dig for clans or something? Is it too cold for that? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interestingly enough, there are no clans involved. Nobody knows what, where it got that name. Apparently it's been around for ages. But after so long, it's not what it used to be. And I really don't understand the meaning behind it. Mm. Yeah. Clam digging is a secret ceremony or more like a game. As the generation changed, we gradually lost sight of how it started. Even though the meaning behind it has been lost, there's been no real reason to stop doing it, and so it continues. So it's just what we do. That's what traditions are after all. Even if we don't believe in specific religion, we can we still hold religious ceremonies for funerals and the like because that's just what's been done. God. This is gonna be like 13 chapters of them bickering at each other. I get, so I kind of get what you're getting at, so is the clan digging thing happening again this year? Mm. Yeah, and this year I want you to all to participate in it, even you three, Tori, Sukasa, and producer. Eh? Really? I'm honored, but are you sure it's alright? Of course, you're the head of the Sewa family now, aren't you? Or be it for anyone to tell you you're too much of a child to participate. <laughs> uh. You are, however, free to choose whether to participate or not. If you don't wish to be involved in such a childish game, you can feel free to decline. It's just for fun after all. Uh, no! I see no shame in participating! Uh, if Sukasa's doing it, then I'm- then so am I. I may not be ahead of the Hiyamiya yet, Hiyamiya's yet, but no way am I being left behind. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Good. I, I'm glad the clan co costume I prepared won't go to waste. Eto. Costume? Are you going to hold a live or something? Mm -hmm. Uh, no. I'll explain more later. But clan digging is something we participate in, our, in with our servants. Mm? Servants? That's kind of unusual, isn't it? So then. <laughs> it is. Usually we don't uh, return, fraternize with servants. If this were a different era, we wouldn't be able to sit at the same table as them. During clan digging, though, a difference in stature disappears. We, lo all lo we, lose, our, uh, we lose all rank and stand together. And uh, in order to make that clear, we all traditionally suppose we're also traditionally supposed to dress as servants for clan digging. Ah, I understand. In ver vulnerable homes, clothing is a sign of statue, to status, and so we are all wear the same thing in order to remove that barrier. So, uh, quite so. You're a quick learner, Sukasa. It makes teaching you fun. <laughs> <laughs> Our attention is so being so kind today. I wonder what happened. Uh oh, I know what's gonna happen. He's being nice on on purpose. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Now then, clam digging will commence until the sun is completely set, but let's go ahead and get changed. Since it will be you three's first per time participating, we should get a head start. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Producer, do you know? Do you have the costumes you made for us? <laughs> <laughs> we had Producer make us the costumes since she's so good at sewing. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry to make you work despite being a guest, but it seems you have fun, so I hope making the costumes was more of a stress reliever for you, Producer. Who's who made the costumes? I think they look great then. Oh no. Roger Tinchuin? Mm -hmm. huh? mm. uh, um, I understand that we wear the, these costumes in order to make the status difference, but this costume. Oh yeah? Uh, you don't have to wear a lowly servant's outfit. You're free to think that, but I wouldn't go around shouting it to the hilltops in this day and age. Uh. No! It's just this is most definitely a woman's outfit! Mm. Oh, you're right. These are maid outfits. Oh, my apologies. I suppose when Congress heard the term servant costume, a maid outfit is the first thing that comes to mind, huh? Well, I'll learn from my mistake. But I did tell you we were the ones who were going to be wearing them, didn't I, Pooster? Why women's clothes? Yeah. Well, but they're made perfectly to our male measurements. Oh. In other words, this wasn't a mistake? Big sister Pooster! Wants me to wear maid outfits? But why? 
I don't understand. <laughs> it's fine. We look good no matter what we wear. <laughs> exactly. This outfit's so cute. I'm sure you look adorable on me. Why are you all acting so okay with this? I will not wear this! I am a man from a long line of dating back to Samurai. I must draw the line. <laughs> Wasn't Master Aichi just talking about outdated values? Quit your complaint and put it on. I bet you'd look good in it. Though not as good as me. <laughs> I don't want to look good in it. I will not wear it. <laughs> don't look at me like that big princess producer. It isn't your outfit that's the problem. It's my samurai ancestors. My manhood. <laughs> <laughs> I made the right choice in buying producer. The atmosphere is getting less and less heavy by the minute. I doubt producer planned this. I'm sure it was an accident. But how many times have you been saved by her slight air... Airheadedness. <laughs> I hope this party will be fun enough to relieve you of your stress, even just a little bit. Oh my god, there's 10 more episodes? What are you gonna- what are we talking- what's the story about? That night, the potential in his family grounds, clam digging venue. <laughs> <laughs> now then, it's time for the moment all of you terrible aristocrats with too much time on your hands have been waiting for. Clam digging. <laughs> well, <laughs> Clappy. <laughs> Come on, kids. Follow Aichi's example and let loose. Make some noise. Climb digging is supposed to brighten up the fog you've gotten yourself into over the past year. <laughs> You're not supposed to be all serious and stately. <laughs> I don't think I'm able to match either of your enthusiasm. <sighs> Same here, but Master Aichi doesn't do things randomly. If he's acting like this, there must be meaning behind it. Hey. Yeah. Let's go with that. I've already made such a fuss about cross-dressing that I don't want to complain even more. Uh, to be honest, the clothes aren't really what matters. What matters more, most during clan digging is that we lose our usual identities. Everyone wearing the same servant sort of clothes is just a means to the end. To make it more visible. There's no deeper meaning. After all, wearing clothes you aren't used to makes it hard to move and could be dangerous. D dangerous? What do you mean? What exactly is clam digging. <laughs> Since we have first time Christmas today, I wanted to explain the rules of clam digging. Simply put, clam digging is a special survival game. A type of prey, pretend cops and robbers. Cat and mouse, a game of tag if you will. Huh? Yore, yore. Uh, to simply put, it is never simple. <sighs> Shut it, you. Tomore. Anyway, the first step of clam digging is to draw lots to determine who are the hunters and who are the hunted. How you participate will depend on which side you're assigned to. Uh. And the ratio of hunters versus prey comes out to about 1 9. The idea is, that, the idea is to have a few hunters chasing a large group number of prey. You, see, you all received a fortune cookie earlier at the party, yes? A little slip of paper inside had your role in the game written on it. If you receive a red slip saying fisherman, you are on the hunter's side. If your slip was blue and it said fish, then you're prey. Eto. Um, oh, I got a red paper saying fisherman, so I guess I'm a hunter. Omenito. Congratulations. As I said earlier, about one tenth of the participants are hunters. You're a lucky one, Sukasa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use up all your whole year's worth of luck already, Sukasa? Mm anyway, since my paper is blue and says fish, does that mean I'm being hunted? Mm -hmm. I'm on the hunted side too, Tori. We match. <laughs> oh, I'm still confused, but I'm glad we're on the same side, Master Hyori. <sighs> Uh, since when were you two such good friends? Ma. Uh, well, anyway, the fish get to run around freely for a while over the whole of our private property. That's basically all the prey can do. Run, right, run, run away. Ito. It's really like a game of tag, so if you get caught by whoever's it, I mean, a fisherman, does it mean you lose? Mm -hmm. Nope. You only lose if a fisherman kills you. <laughs> kills you? Wait, what? I mean, I'm fuzzy on the details, but it's kind of getting sort of, sort of battle royale like you see in movies. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You won't actually be killed. Fishermen are just given two weapons at the start of the game. A gun and a sword. Mm. The gun, Guns are convenient because they can strike at long distance, but they, can, they only contain 10 bullets. Reloading is also prohibited. I say gun, but they're more like water guns loaded with paint. It doesn't really hurt if you're, sh if you're shot. The swords are the kind used for sports and are made of foam-like materials, so they're completely safe. Uh. However, if you get shot by a gun or hit by a sword, it's game over for you. We're going, to, we're going with the honor system here, but dead fish must withdraw from the game and return to the mansion. Assessing cops and robbers, Uber can't be rescued since they're dead. 
What do you mean just like cops and robbers? Robbers can be rescued from a prison. <laughs> In the end, if all the fish are hunted, the fishermen win. If even one fish survives, it's still it's a draw. Mm. With those kinds of rules, I bet it's been a draw more often than not in the past. But that's not a bad thing. If one side wins and the other holds a grudge, that almost defeats the point of the game. Hmm. Hey, is there any way for the fish to win? Or is it the best we can aim for to stay alive and have a draw? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was getting there. The fishermen can choose a leader or their king. Hmm. King? Mm. Yeah. Fishermen, a fish are powerless to do one thing. Oh, wait. Fish are powerless to do only one thing other than run away, and that is to kill the king. If a fish touches the king's body, then the king is dead. If the king dies, then the fish win. Huh. So we fishermen need a defensive strategy to ensure no one touches our king? That's right. But the fishermen are few in numbers, so it's conceiv conceivable to put all fishermen in defensive positions. In that scenario, it will be difficult to annihilate all the fish, and therefore almost impossible for a fisherman to win. Hmm. So we need to strategize how to move a small amount of human resources to our best advantage. Sounds like in chess. This is more interesting than I originally thought. Huh? So it's basically just a more complicated version of tag? Uh. That's right. For us rich folks, simple games can be a delightfully refreshing form of entertainment. I get that. Manga and other common forms of entertainment are fun, huh? Uh, but still, we're probably the ability. Are we gonna... Are we going to run around playing tar tag in the dark? <laughs> this is an interesting game. No way, like chess, like chess board, like checkmate. <laughs> Ten minutes into the into the clan digging. <sighs> I'm a second year high school student, not some tiny kid anymore. I didn't think there was any way I could ha have fun playing tag. I'm actually feeling pretty nervous. Pretty far from any city, so it's dark. I can barely see my feet. I feel like I'm, I'll trip in any second. They gave us strong flashlights. I'm just scared to turn on the light since I lead it. I mean, the fisherman right to me, but I can't run away if I can't see. <laughs> what do I do? I wish I could strategize with some other fish, but this place is so huge I haven't run into anyone. Sure, they gave us GPS and radar systems in case of emergency, but all the radar displays is someone's general area, nothing else. I have no idea if they're if those little blimps are fishermen or other fish, so I can't just go find them. If I mistake an enemy for a friend and get close, I might get shot with one of those guns. <sighs> Why is everyone so excited about the game that I thought I had to do my best? I didn't want to be seen as a little spoil spurt sport. I was such an idiot. I should have just stayed at the starting point and gotten caught right away. So guys look really pumped to be able to hunt me though. If I stayed there, he probably he would have killed me. <laughs> The last thing I want to, is to lose to him or be the butt of his jokes. Huh? What's that wrestling sound coming from the bushes over there? Is that my imagination? Or was it the wind or something? Maybe like a little animal like a rabbit? Is someone there? Wait, now's the time I should be using my radar. Uh, maybe if I push this button? Ah! Ooh, who's there? Why'd you come up behind me? No, I'm gonna be killed! Wait, you sir? Is that you? Oh, right. You're playing this clan thing game, too. I almost forgot you were at the party this year. Since clan thing isn't restricted to us aristocrats, anyone can join in despite their social status, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad it was you, producer. Jeez, you almost gave me a heart attack. You should have said it was you. You already thought you were a fisherman. <laughs> Wait, producer could be a fisherman. In clan digging, our identities in reality don't mean anything. Producer could be a fisherman and then show up to kill me. Um, Producer, can you show me your hand? Do you have a gun or a sword? Are you a fisherman here to kill me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're not holding anything. Does that mean you're a fish like me? Thank goodness, I was scared for a minute. Huh? You're scared too? You took a tumbler, did you get a tumble by running and dropped your flashlight? Huh, I guess it's weird that you're not carrying anything. All of us fish got flashlights. Mm -hmm. You're so clumsy, huh, Producer? <laughs> you may have become a big shot producer, but you haven't changed a bit. Well, I guess we, we've got no choice but to stick together then. I'll turn on my flashlight so you can see. You better be grateful. Come on, even with the flashlight, it's dark at our feet. So hold my hand, okay? It's not because I'm scared, it's just so you don't trip and fall again. <laughs> it feels like it's been ages since I've got to walk in hand in hand like brother and sister. 
He's nice. I feel like we haven't been as physical affectionate with me since ES started. I wonder why. He used to sit on my lap. He used to sit on my lap? And feed me from my lunchbox, don't you remember? I feel like it should be the other way. I feel like Tori should sit on, was to sit on the producer's lap. <laughs> huh? Since you're a producer and I'm an idol, we have to act professionally? That's dumb. Whatever our jobs are, that doesn't change the fact that we're friends, right? I also my status during this clan digging game. We're so as good friends as ever, aren't we? As long as I'm Tori and Mia and your producer, then we'll always be close friends, right? Did I say something weird? Uh, don't pat my head like that, rude! Wait, it's not rude because we're equals at the moment. Details, details. Hmm. I thought I heard a little dog yapping over here. <laughs> Turns out it was you, Tori. What exactly do you think you're doing with big sis big sister light producer in a place like this? <laughs> Ugh, Sukasa, the last person I wanted to be found by. <laughs> oh god. Oh, hi there, all hi there. No, it's my, it's my fault for not saying it in advance. It was like very last minute. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse my trap was a success, but it is a pickle. If it was just you, Tori, I wouldn't have held back. The producer's with you. <laughs> Run, producer. Sukasa said he was a fisherman, so he's our enemy. Over here, watch your step. Uh, come back here, you coward. You just said cowards live long in battle, and living longer is what we're aiming for. Isn't that true? Hmm? Fushimi said something like that. But why? That doesn't sound like a service mentality. Hmm? Hey, speaking of which, I wonder if Yuzu is participating in clan digging. I heard all the servants were. Hmm? He's my servant, so why isn't he here right now? How is loyal? Matake. I couldn't give two fakes about your servant. Hmm. And allow me to rub some salt in the wound of yours. Even if Fushimi is playing clam digging, it doesn't mean he's on your side. In fact, it would be dangerous to assume he is. If you get close to him to protect you, you might find yourself stabbed in the back. That could happen. Huh. I know that! Don't act so high and mighty. You're the same age as me. <sighs> well, it seems you haven't been listening to Bert Tenshuin's explanation earlier. I'll simply try to help you out. Ma. Enough talking. As long as I can't recognize my enemies and crush them, that's all I need to know. According to the rules of clan digging, there's no way you're the king, so I can hunt you down to my heart's content. The difficulty lies in stuffing out all of your fish allies, otherwise your fishermen cannot win. Can you quit calling the rules to me? Bang. He, he shot me. He's got a gun. I don't want to believe this. Why are you so surprised? If you knew the rules so well, you should remember that the we're fishermen were given weapons. Mm. That said, I'm not familiar with guns. It's quite hard to aim with such poor visibility. Uh. Well, we got a chance. He's about guns. Mm. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> He's shooting all over the place. Good old Sukasa. Uh. Come on, producer. We gotta run before you get hit. Over here. Uh. Huh? Well, where? Doesn't it matter as long as we get away from Sukasa before Sukasa ends up killing us? What? What do you mean Tsukasa won't do that? I mean, yeah, normally he wouldn't. He acts like some gentleman. But we're in the middle of clan digging. Besides, he's always been impossible to stop once he gets fired up about something. Even if it's just a game. I appreciate if you stop badmouthing me. Uh, <laughs> I would appreciate it if you stop badmouthing me to producer. Huh? What? Why is Tsukasa's voice coming from above me? Mm hmm. <gasps> this little sneak. He fired a gun in a different direction to draw our attention over there and make us think we were safe. He took the chance to climb a tree and hop from branch to branch? Was he a monkey? <laughs> no. I believe this is checkmate. <laughs> Why is he a monkey? <laughs> because of my gamer, he can snipe. He can't snipe. Ah. Oh, yeah? oh, you dodged it. He has some good reflexes. They're just as annoying as a person himself. Uh, of course, I'm gonna dodge a sword. If you slash me with that, I'm dead. Even so, you're just you you'll just die in the game. This will all, this was also explained earlier by Ted for Tenchuin. These weapons are mere toys and not dangerous. <sighs> the sword is so lightweight it can actually, it's actually hard for me to control, since I'm accustomed to real swords. It's also too long to be used with ease around so many trees like this. <laughs> that said, the proper the prop sword is nice 
use on stage are of similar weight, and we Suos are nothing to, if not warriors. I will get the hang of it in no time. You've lost balance when you evade that last attack. I won't miss the next. <laughs> With this, I capture you, my enemy, Tori Himemiya. <laughs> oh. oh, you jumped to defend Big Sis Producer. Looks like you're you aren't brought entirely to the core, my life long life my my lifelong enemy. But this time I win. I can finally end our lifelong feud with you. Everyone get down. Everyone get down. Huh? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. That was a tactic I saw in old movies. Uh-huh. Brother Tomoe. What? How I thought you were fish. How are you shooting me at me? Aren't fish supposed to be unarmed? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good obedient kid, but that's just that. But that just means you let the rules tie you down. <laughs> so you're saying it's easy for me to be outsmarted by those who don't follow rules? Rules? Like those scoundrels in Crazy B? Is that why you they blindsided us in SS? It's a good thing to live the way you you do when it's about right versus wrong instead of winning or losing. You should be proud of your goodness. But right now you're just playing a game, and we're supposed to crush each other. This isn't about right or wrong, it's only about winning or losing. Ugh, Baratomo is speaking awfully cheerful for someone having a dead eye a aim. <sighs> what, happened, what happens if a fisherman gets shot? When he's disqualified, do you have to drop out of the game? Then we lost to Tori? Uh... I didn't think this kind of thing would happen, so I didn't check the rules around it. I just keep making mistakes, or could it actually reflect my shortcomings? Hmm. Thank you, Baratomoe. You taught me something t today. I'll bow out for now. Mm. Nice. You've got good judgment and quick too. You're more suited to being a lord than a foot soldier. Eh. It's how I was raised. Now then, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so polite, even when he's running away. <laughs> Master Hiyoi! Thank you, I love you. Did you come save me? <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, I'm in no position to help anyone. Aichi isn't taking any pains to help to try to help you though, so. <gasps> Don't badmouth Master Eiichi, I won't allow it, even from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you really believe in Eiichi, if all your heart like that, nothing anyone says will shake it, huh? When you feel unsure and deny it, does that mean there's a part deep, deep, deep down inside of you who feels the same way about Eiichi as I do? Our true souls come out most when we're off balance, you know? Hmm? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Sorry, that wasn't like me. Bah, Hiyori. You don't look... You don't look a thing like Aichi, but for some reason, I teach the same way, food for my thoughts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe that's why Master Aichi is kind of cold towards Tsukasa. He might see a bit of who you used to be in Tsukasa. <laughs> Tsukasa? What? Are you saying Aichi and I are similar? I say it again, that I consider that a huge insult. <laughs> oh god. June played Fortnite. <laughs> hey, we played Fortnite with June. Oh yeah, that's true. Or. Didn't they play like a game together or something? I think it'll be up to early tomorrow. I'm going to try live. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and live stream tomorrow too. The live stream. Well, whatever. I'm pooped. Can we take a break somewhere safe? As fish, we probably won't find anywhere safe until clam digging is over, though. Uh -huh. uh, would you like a shoulder massage? Thanks for helping me. Uh -huh. I'm not an old man, and I don't have bad shoulders. But still, it's not a bad feeling being appreciated. Right? Producer, Master Hiyori helped you too, so you should show him some gratitude. How about a kiss, just like in fairy tales? Yeah. Wait, no! Wait, no, no kisses. Name, name is you, Master Hiyori. Mm -hmm. You don't want to thank me, you know. I guess you're right. Anyway, why do you have a gun? Are you fish allowed to have be armed? Ah. It's not like that's. It's not like they were against the rules. But it's not like there were any rules against it. I was running around all over the place for a while, and then I saw a servant of mine. So I called out to him, and we negotiated for him to hand over his gun. We're supposed to be equals during clan digging, but people can't just throw away their titles that easily. My servant was probably afraid of what would happen after a game if he refused me, so he gladly handed the weapon over. It was good luck to run into him, really. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. Life continues when the game is over. Going as your master could mean something like a salary cut. Mm. Yeah, if we were still kids, we could have forgiven, forgotten the real world and had fun, but we're not. It's only being adult, huh? <sighs> uh, if Yuzu were doing clan digging, he would have sided with me no matter what. Wonder, where enough is he? I wish I could find him and get him to help us. He's crazy strong, so he'd be more useful than a hundred fish. Ah. 
Oh, that reminds me that Yuzu probably won't be participating. My older brother stunned clan digging for several years, and he told me Yuzu went on rampage during the game once it got banned. <laughs> he went on rampage? Banned? What they, exactly did he do? Hmm. Apparently, he completely broke all social society rules and destroyed everyone he came across. <laughs> of course, I mean under the clan digging rules. You know what the Hiramiyas have been treated with more respect lately? Or at least not made fun of as much? It's a rumor that's because of Yuzu's excellent performance during their clan digging. People realize you weren't just new money. The Hiramiyas actually have the power to crush anyone who goes against you. Aww. Huh, Yuzu did go somewhere to get training a long time ago. I wonder if that's what it was for. I don't think that's what it was. <laughs> Is clan digging more important to the financial world than I thought? Mm. Uh, yes. I didn't think it should, though. It's just a game. Ma. But as you know, things like how we behave in society, so social settings, or how well we dance are important when we aristocrats are driving each other. If you can show that you got worth in front of everyone in an event like this game, it'll definitely have an impact back in real life. Forgetting about the rules of the world and just playing the game isn't something humans can do. The outside world will always influence our actions. Even if I hate it, even if I hate it, it's my role as a pro prodigal son, or prodigal second son, to show my worth in places like this. Since I represent my brother, who's head of the family. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough chatter for me now. If we hang out here much longer, so Kasuma might come back with reinforcements. Let's get a move on. I found a good, I found a few good places to hire get away, so I'll show you those first. If we just let the clock run out, we'll win. Well, not win, a draw. But that's a hundred times better than losing. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's time for Troll tr Master Healy. Mm. <laughs> not at all. We're in the same boat, so we should be helping each other out. Mm. Master Healy, how incredible he is he? Uh. To be honest, when I was younger, I thought he was kind of an idiot. I just listened to all the adults gossip and believed that Tomoe's second son was a bad kid. My family has always been close to ten children who see the Tomoe's as business rivals. If the partners are our enemies, so are their children. But saying someone's worse than you than you just because they're your enemy is just prejudice. Mm -hmm. hmm? What's wrong, Tori? Are you tired from doing so many things you're not used to? Come here. Big Brother Hiyoi will carry you. Uh, I'm fine. I can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look you don't like being treated like a kid. Oh. What? Yeah. No. Weirdly, I don't mind if it comes from you. I feel like I'd be an, an older brother. I don't really hate it when Master Ichi teaches me like a kid then. Oh. Uh oh. Betrayal? <sighs> One hour later. Mm. This isn't looking good. Terrible, Hiyori. <sighs> yeah. And the chance for a draw is not none to, is not slim to none, but zone. Zone? What? Wait, what is that? Is it supposed to be none? Or is it supposed to be gone? I don't, I don't understand. <sighs> it looks like we are under underestimating Heichi. Just like our Ibada, I mean, he's not only loves this kind of thing, but he's great at it. Always has been. So yeah, Master Yichi is a real problem here. He's the real enemy we have to deal with. If Tsukasa is our only enemy, we could easily turn things around. Getting caught early, earlier was just a slip up. Or maybe he can navigate the rules of clan digging since he came, comes from the family of samurai. Master Yichi is so good at this that it's not about the rules at all. He sent fisherman swords to guard all the safe places Master Yichi worked so hard to find. The fishermen are supposed to be overwhelmingly outnumbered. But Master Ichi has been making us making use of the radar to take control of the game. He's got the whole place in the palm of his hand. He's been moving his fishermen to Hana's, Hana's fish, catching lots of fish precisely in their nets. He predicted with deadly accuracy where we tried to escape and move his fishermen to catch our fish quickly. I bet we're probably the only one still alive at this point. Master Hiyori might be the only one smart enough to counter Ichi's, Ichi's tactics. And so we've managed to survive so far. But maybe we've been herded around to keep the game from being too boring. Swimming ca captivity like fish in the aquarium. Master Eiji doesn't even touch the gun. This is not a hunting. It's not hunting for him. He just toying with us when we're running away in a panic. <sighs> There's a world of difference between us. I 
heard the stories, though only just the basics, about how Master Tenchui rose to power from being a no-name student two years ago. How in less than a year, he defeated all the powerful enemies and unified Yunosaki being his emperor. I still need to watch Elements. Until now, Master Eiki's story feels like a fairy tale to me. I never felt like it had really happened. Dinner. Now though, I, can, I can't just smile and listen. Right now, I've become his temporary enemy according to the rules of the game. But it's also the first time I realized how terrifying Master Ichi can be. As Aichi's friend, he loved me, so I never saw a sight of him. Mm -hmm. Tori? Tori, are you okay? Uh huh? Oh, sorry, Master Hiyoi. I was zoning out. Hmm. Shh, quiet. Huh? huh? Oh, right, sorry. Not too loud. Our enemies might find us, huh? Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty. it's pretty late, though. It's not surprising that you're getting tired and losing concentration. But we should keep on trucking. It would suck to lose to age age when we see the finish line. <sighs> I wish we could launch a surprise attack and pull the rug out from under him. I hate fighting, but I hate losing even more. Mm -hmm. uh, me too, but even if we want to surprise him, how could we? Where are we in this situation? Are, aren't we supposed to be with them? What happened? Mm -hmm. Well, since age is the one organizing the fisherman's movements, I'm guessing he's their leader, the king. In other words, if we manage to touch him, we fish win. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That wasn't the rules, huh? Demo. Certainly. Our enemies are aware of that, though I'm being cautious. It would have been easier if I could shoot him with my gun. I ran out bullets when we were running away. If we'll have to smoke him out and kill him using nothing but, but with our wits. Ugh, I don't really want to think about such brutality. My brain isn't working at this point anyway. Ah. Do either of you have any ideas? Oh, okay, we are with them. We've just been talking to each other the whole time, apparently. <laughs> Tori, producer. I bet you got some good ideas, Tori. You're AT's treasured child after all. You've been close to him this whole time, learning from learning from his every move, so you must know him even better. That spickable mean horror guy who has nothing going for him besides looks. Oh. Hey now, that's taking too far. <laughs> Trust me, this is nothing compared to what I could say. I'm dialing it back for your guys' sakes. Oh. Um, Master Hiyori, why are you saying that? Mm -hmm. Isn't that odd that I don't want to stay in your pure little heart? Mm. It's not just... You know, I think of you guys the same way, right? I just want you to know that. <laughs> the jig is up. Oh. Uh, Eiichi? You ripped my moves up to this? Oh. It's... It's okay, Master Hiyori. This is the way Master Eiichi was, was talking to us. <clears throat> Look, I don't know what's going on, but it looks like Tsukasa and Master Eiichi are arguing. Tsukasa, Kato must be a bad influence on you and the archery club. Mm. Hasmi, senpai, it's nothing to do with this. Don't try to change the subject. Yore, yore. I've been on the subject the whole time. If you can't connect the, the dots, it's a problem with your listening skills, not my speaking. <laughs> <laughs> you always pause and consider whether others are correct. That's what makes you uncontrollable to control the older knights. Now that you've become a true ruler, you need to realize it's a pipe dream to listen to everyone's opinions. Uh. For instance, let's make it. Let's say you made up your mind here and now the cell into my adorable Tori. Hi. I have! I almost had him earlier, so I won't let him get away next time. If our family is being what they are, there's never been an opportunity to sell the score. That's why it has to happen tonight. So then, eh? Indeed. Our book, our book calls us to a higher density than the families we were raised in. If you and Tori had a feud in the worst case scenario, it would, both, it would stain both your families in, the, in that blood. Con people can have little classroom feuds, but you're more than just students. You're representatives of your st family's empires. Uh. True. Of course I know that. That's why I've only been able to have minor spats with that kid, keeping all the frustrations in mind. Which is why this is the perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. Quite the opposite. That's the reason your wishes must not come true. Huh? Mm. Did I tell you about the origins of clan digging, Sakasa? It's originated a long time ago, and was actually born from tragedy. I don't know to what extent you've heard from your parents about the rise of our family, but... No matter what you've heard, I'm sure it was sugar-coated as is often the case of history of the winning side. Uh. Long, long ago, we invaded this territory and drove out the people who had been living here peacefully. And then we seized the wealth of the native inhabitants, with which our family thrived. All the long... All the long-established, well-off aristocrats around the Yunusaki area are guilty of this 
this original sin. And planned against the ceremony put in place to remind us of the bloody history. So that we never forget that we are fat, ugly fishermen who gorge themselves on innocent fish. <laughs> I assume you want to sell your history of Tori by having an honorable, straightforward battle like a true samurai. You must be imagining such a heroic battle in your mind. <laughs> but in time for reality but it's time for reality checks, Sukasa. We're demons who travel a week for our own advantageous position. With teens divided like this into fish and fishermen, it's impossible to have a battle on equal footing like you're picturing. <sighs> It wouldn't be an honorable duel. It'd be bullying someone you hate into a one-sided beatdown. Do I even need to keep explaining why I'm stopping you? No. I apologize for attention. I understand now. I didn't realize our families had such a bloody past. Mm. Well, it's just a story. I don't know if it's true or not, just so you know. You're such a nice, honest kid. It really hurt you to hear our family's past, didn't it? The lesson I personally take from clan digging is that evil can be justified. Uh. Winners make history. They can promote history decorated with beautiful phrases and pretend to reflect on it behind the scenes. Like holding se secret ceremonies away from the eyes of the common folk. This way we comfort ourselves by feeling like we pay tribute to the people we trampled. We say such a tragedy should never be repeated with, with one breath and eat delicious high quality sushi but with their blood with the next. Mm. I'm deeply moved, Sukasa. Beauty can be found in ugliness and ugliness can hold its own beauty. Sometimes the sheer ugliness is what makes a, tight, a, makes a thing beautiful. We don't learn from past mistakes, that's because we don't view them as mistakes. And this isn't an ancient fairy tale, it's a common story that is repeated over and over, even in this day and age. Mm. We continue dominating in Yunosaki, and yes, we gain success by taking from others. And then we justify our actions, paying regret every once in a while. We eat the weak and use them as sustenance. Dang. That got so serious all of a sudden. Tsukasa <laughs> hmm. of the Suos. <laughs> hmm. Please trust my experience when I say that I'm listening to Aichi. Please trust my experience when I say that listening to Aichi is a waste of time. Hmm. Thank you for the advice. <sighs> I don't know if I should listen to someone who just came bur bursting into the enemy's den unaccom unaccom uh, unaccompanied, though. No, Tomoe's second son is often looked down on by the world as an idiot, but he's not as foolish as at all. There would be no way he could make his way to the top of a powerhouse like ES if people's opinions on him were true. He's Hiyori Tomoe of Eden, appointed one of the chiefs in SS. Ooh. So he must have a plan. What is he playing at? <laughs> it's a diversionary tactic! All fishermen, on alert! <laughs> oh, you catch on quickly. And expect them from the head of a family descended by samurai. <laughs> You honor me with your compliment, but I will not lose focus because of it. Buratomo is a fish, but hurry is armed. I hope he is out of bulls after fighting against us while on the run. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. As I learned SS, even rabbit hunting isn't too small for a lion. I can use the trees as cover while I sneak up and attack. Mm -hmm. Huh? Bad idea. I'll take you it'll take you too long to get me if I keep playing it safe. Aw, to be young, despite to prove oneself on the front lines, or desperate. You're awfully confident for battle. <laughs> there's no there's no honor getting caught by a fish. If you saw it through my diversion, you should have also guessed at our real target and put all your put your all into stopping our plan. Ooh. Your real target? Wait, bird toy bird attention oh my god. Wait, bird attention. So? Yep, we turn a tide to hunt A to your king. Oh. Wait a second. Our strategy was for producer and Tori to get Eiichi while I was distracting Tsukasa. It's a little too quiet though. There's no way Eiichi would, wouldn't resist or try to run away. What's happening? This wasn't part of my plans. Uh, why? Mm -hmm. Tori? He's acting weird. Your true target. <laughs> I don't know if I can aim well from this distance. <laughs> I will even pull a trigger. Don't get in my way, Bird Tomoe! Tomoe, I need to defeat Tori with my own hands! Uh, Shut up! Seriously, just be quiet. I can't think. Master Ichi, he. <laughs> Ichi, he's dead! Oh, that's what, that's what this is from. <laughs> this picture. What? I don't know. Ichi's a king, so if we touch him, we win, so. 
And so on, he threw it down, and the sword was plugged in his back. Hmm. A sword? Oh, it does. Like, unlike a gun, swords don't make any noise, so you can kill someone silently. Hmm. But who did this? Eiji breached resentment, so it could have been anyone, really. Maybe someone took advantage of the game and hired a servant to assassinate him? Hmm. Clan digging would be the perfect opportunity. All the families are here, unarmed and unguarded, running around in the dark. But the same goes for us. We could be targeted too. I need to call an evacuation. What's happening? Who did it? Who was it? Who killed Master Ichi? Just... Calm down, Tori. Huh? Eh. Are you saying Burton Chuin was killed? But I was just talking with him. If he was killed, it must have been in those few moments I was distracted by Baratomoe. Which means the culprit couldn't have gone far. You should search for the surroundings and bring the person to justice. <laughs> that that sword does not look fake. <laughs> Sukasa, I can't. I'm not from a samurai family like you. I don't know how the killer be killed. Isn't that why I never understood Master Teichi? Mm -hmm. Put yourself to gear, Tori Kimimiya. Are you my nemesis or not? <laughs> but. True. Huh? Hmm. Indeed, it's because you're like this that I still can't trust everything to you. <laughs> He's played dead. <laughs> the next day, a post clan digging party. You're horrible. I can't believe you did that, Master Ichi. <laughs> what are you laughing at, you rotten apple? Ow. Violence is not the answer, Huey. Clan digging is over. I could take you to court for assault. Hi, hi. Shut it. See, Torius, don't you understand how terrible Ichi really is now? Throw this trash away and join my family instead. Ito. I can't. First, I have my own family. Uh -huh. Besides, I know this sounds weird, but I'm really happy. <laughs> because Master Ichi saw me as a serious opponent. <laughs> I surprise you. I had to pretend I was dead so you would be upset when you crept up on me. Then when you were in a state of panic and your bar was down. Person you not suspected, the producer sh sh shoots you from behind with a gun. Oh my god, I knew we, I knew we were a fisherman. Wow, I can't believe you betrayed me too, producer. Mean, mean, mean. I lost all faith in humanity. <laughs> she fooled me too. We assumed she was was on the fisherman's side because she didn't have any weapons. But I was a fisherman. I was a fish with a weapon, so I guess there are exceptions to every rule. So. Indeed, she can simply throw the weapon away as the only way to disguise between a fisherman and a fisherman is by what they're carrying. Ugh, I should have known something was up with one producer who said she dropped by, dropped her tools. It doesn't make any sense. So then, eh? <laughs> That's right. The flashlight and radar were lifelines for getting through the clan digging grounds. The producer had dropped everything and yet she was so calm. Not because she was brave, but she was a fisherman who wasn't the king. That's it. For people in the role, clan digging is just a night nighttime stroll. It's easy to breeze right through it. <laughs> I got tricked. It wouldn't be unlike producer to drop all her stuff, so I didn't even suspect her. I thought she was she of all people would never betray me. Mama. <laughs> Please don't blame her. I believe if it were producer, she would be she would be able to fool not only you but also Hiyori. And I asked her to put up on put up on the act. And that is in order to win a clan digging. Incidentally, I was also asked to do something acting, do some acting by Burr intentionally. He is certainly prepared. <sighs> right? I didn't even notice. You really got me. <laughs> the King of Fishermen was actually me all along. Eh. So even if your surprise attack had been successful, you wouldn't have won. Even if you managed to touch Burr intentionally, it wouldn't have meant anything. Uh. Uh, that's right. You also thought I was the king, so if you assume you would be, you, you assume you'd be victorious if you touched me. If you manage to do so, he let your guard down, at which point the real king, Sukasa, will, point your, will wipe you out. There are several layers to my plan. <sighs> well, as they say, schemers drown in their own schemes, although our Eva is like that too. <laughs> a fisherman will never drown. Ma. <laughs> I was actually walking a thin tightrope. Sukasa was, was king, but he still wanted to sell things to Tori. Hmm. The king is the most important of the fishermen, though. He couldn't just go moving around blindly. It took a lot of work to convince him on that. Considering the possibility that someone might have been listening to our conversation, I had to be vague. I couldn't let you figure out that Tsukasa was a king. That said, it's, 
It all worked down to end. I miss the walking tightrope, quite frankly. <laughs> Dang, we betrayed Tori so bad. We betrayed everyone. It's just, I can't think of anything to say anymore. It's so weird. Even though I lost, I'm not frustrated. Ma. Well, you did your best, didn't you? I thought you had wrapped things up faster, but you all st stuck it out until the very end. <sighs> Veritome was a thorn in our side. I never would have thought one of the fish would be harmed. <laughs> you can try to abolish status, but the echoes of the real world live on all of us. You can never erase people's biases completely. No matter how even the footing, no matter how innocent the game, reality always comes crashing in at some point. <laughs> It always does. I commend, I commend you, Yuri, for finding a weak spot in the family's game. You're surprisingly devious when it comes to it. Ooh. Not as much as you. It, I wouldn't be surprised if you spout. I wouldn't be surprised if you spout demon horns any day now. Uh. I'll take that as a compliment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, what's wrong, Tori? Are you actually kind of down because we, you were tricked, betrayed, and beaten? Are you disillusioned with me? Mm -hmm. No, you're still Master Ichi. The beautiful angel who shines on stage, and the fallen demon who brags about your wins. You love both sides. I love both sides of you. When will you believe me when I say that? So then. Your tears were real when you thought I was dead. I'll give you that. Even though, even I cannot doubt. Even I can't doubt that those glistening drops of grief. You really don't care for me, or who I am. Mm. Yeah, even if I don't, even if you still believe it. So you have to tell me all about yourself. Even if it's just a little at a time, as you did yesterday. I want to know about I want to know and love everything there is to know about you, my beloved mm -hmm. Master Eichi. Stop hiding, stop sugarcoating things. I want to get to know the real Master Eichi, not the mask he's always wearing around me. Starting from now, please, don't distract yourself don't distance yourself from me. Uh. I'll do my best, I promise. That way when I really do die, you'll be able to smell even a little bit, instead of seeking to stir on the spirit of our parting. I'll tell you everything about me, little by little. I'll do, I do hope you won't end up being crushed by the weight. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> looks like Tori fi has finally caught up to me. Just like when I took things over from my leader, Leo, I'm glad to see you here. Aww. Why are you bragging in front of me like a winner? Oh, yeah? Well, I am, on, I am on the winner's side today, am I not? My ruffled feathers are to be, but crazy be as smooth a bit. Mm. Good, your straightforwardness, straightforward nature is a virtue. But just remember that there is no straight line in nature. It pays to be a little f flexible. Hi. Understood. I remember that bird, Tenchaline. <laughs> well, it's been fun looking back from the night and chatting it in a way. But we all have things to get back to, so... Shall we exercise our winter privilege right away? Huh? huh? What do you mean? <laughs> as long as I'm showing you how evil and tainted I am. Let me show you one more layer, Tori. Something not Sometimes not telling the truth is more effective than telling a lie. Huh? Uh. I told producer and Sukasa and he only knew but apparently didn't say anything. But the words of clan digging can technically make the losers their servant for a day. Eh. Yep, that's our word for getting for winning with a little bonus. Huh? Wait, what? Servants? We already had a humiliating defeat. Now you want to rub salt in the wound? <laughs> the winner takes all after all. Time for the costumes producer made to be put on their real use. Eh? Huh? Producer, why are you eyes sparkling like that? <laughs> I did think it was odd that Big Sister was willing to deceive and betray Tori, but now I get it. Mm. You really want to dress us in adorable costumes, don't you, Big Producer? Big Sister Producer. To be honest, I don't really understand that feeling, but I want to I want to come to understand it since I care for you. So, all that's to say, the rest of the day, Tori, you are my adorable little maid. <laughs> and he is mine. And he is mine. Oops. Oh nope. You won't get to run away. It won't be fun. It won't be the first time you made it. you become a maid, wouldn't it? <laughs> See, this is why I never want to go to any of your parties, Eiji. I don't care about having to wear cute costumes, but I can't stand the idea of you treating me like a servant. <sighs> well, take it as a stroke of bad luck and bite the bullet, would you? I assume you wanted to be a fisherman this year, defeat me, and then do the same to me. Unfortunately, reality isn't that convincing. convenient. <laughs> Ugh, this sucks. I will win next year, and I'll repay this humiliation tenfold. <laughs> so says everyone who ever gambled their fortune away. So this man. Yes, the only way to make up for a defeat is to win. That is the way. That is why I too will never lose again. Ah! Boo! No, I lost Master Eiji, not Tsukasa. 
Rules are rules, but let me be an AT servant. I don't want to be. I don't want to serve Sukasa. Come now, don't throw a temp tantrum. You're such a whiny brat. What? Stop! Don't put me back in the maid outfit. Get that white thing off my head. Nothing in this world comes for free, Tori. If you don't want to have to wear that white uh, that white headdress or the sign of you lost ever lose ever again, you must get stronger. And next time, win the game. Fortunately, you'll have plenty of opportunities to do so from now on. Stop trying to make this a learning experience! If you have something to teach me, do it the normal way! If you're too mean to me, I'm not I'm paying you! <laughs> <laughs> I think my next lesson needs to be how to tell convincing lies. <laughs> I'm gone. I can't imagine what's the cost of It's gonna make Tori lose this. Oh, it's just because it's a PC burger. This time there's real gun? No, oh no, that's not good. Dang, this, this starts tomorrow. Shu buys Nika a doll as a gift from Paris before flying back to Japan. We're going to make a new music video, but pretend we're presenting a doll story becomes a major challenge. Nika's struggling to play the role of a doll, pours out his problem to the doll. Soon, he has a strange dream. Why is Eden here? Straight out of the car. Oh no. He only wears a big AT That was a fun story. It, was, it got a little serious and depressing at one point. But the bicker between, like, the banter between Tori and Sukasa and Aichi and uh, Yoyo is really funny. <laughs> For a second of that man, someone will have 10 million points. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at that actually happened. I wonder how many people are going to tear for him. Uh, because I know, I know some people are going to tear for Kohaku too, so... I wonder how that's going to work out. <laughs> I lost track of what they were on on this. Oh god, my throat is dying from all that reading. Okay, I'm done for tonight. My throat is actually pretty dry, even though I drink water. Um, I'll try and wake up for the live stream tomorrow. I think it's at 8 a.m. EDT, my Eastern, 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 whatever the thing is called, time. I'll try and be up so we can watch it together. I want to. There's gonna be a lot of stuff being announced, I think. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. The only other big thing is that I'm gonna play Honkai once Adventure drops. But I forgot what day it is. I think it's either Tuesday or Wednesday. It's gonna be pretty late. No, actually, no, it's not because it's not a patch. Um, but I'll be hopefully be back in the morning to watch the live stream, and hopefully it will have a lot of good news. I guess could do a white bread and not have to read it. <laughs> it's a fun read. It was really fun. Um, but anyways, thanks for everyone who came by today, I appreciate the support. I uh, hope you have a good day at where you are, and now I'm gonna go because my throat is dying, so. My stream is up on the official channel. Okay. Uh, 